self-confessed late bloomer in the field of visual arts, Marge Organo has wasted no time molding a name for herself. Her glass sculptures are a vision of delicate artistry and graceful strength and exhibit a vibrant connection to a powerful imagination. I'm Marge Organo. I'm a glass sculptor. Actually, I started at an old age, a mature age. When I was, I think I was like 56 or 55 years old. Back in 2014, after I thought that my, my business in the pharmaceuticals industry is already stable and I feel like I wanted to do something that I've always wanted when I was young. So I enrolled in drawing, drawing muna, although I was already doing portraits on my own without going to school for it. And I wanted to do sculpture also for a change. And that's how it all started. I always wanted to do glass sculpture. Firstly, because I, I'm a fan of, I, I like sparkling, brilliant, and shiny objects. And I always wanted to do my own glass sculpture, to make my own glass sculpture. My teachers in New York were Czech people. And as you know, Czech people, they are like origins of Bohemian glass. They were the first, the pioneers of glass. So they make very beautiful chandeliers, sculptures. Yung mga sikat na mga glass artists, most of them, they come from Czech Republic. So my teacher said, why don't you go study also there? So that you can also experience um, the original makers of glass. So I, I applied din eh. Um, when they told me, in 2015 pa lang, nag-apply na ako. And then, mga after two years, saka pa lang nakareceive ako ng email. They told me that I'm, uh, I'm accepted to to uh, study there. So I went to enroll the oldest glassmaking school in the world. Aside from, from having my children and my granddaughter that makes me happy, this is something that really, you know, it's a part of me already. Eh. So it's something that, you know, art is freedom. Para kang nakawala sa haula na, o oh, sige, I don't want to follow conventions either. So when I make my designs, I don't sketch. Because when I sketch, I never follow it. Merong rebelde sa puso ko na ayokong nasa kahon. So when I, even the mga ruler, even yung mga symmetry, I hate symmetry. Oh my God. Like, yeah, like two hands, kunyari, dapat pareho. Ako hindi, sinasadya kong baguhin yung isa, sinasadya kong gawing siyang ganon, or, you know, something that's not traditional. For young artists, just to keep learning, just to keep experimenting, just dare, just dare to do, like, huwag kang magpa, magpakulong sa mga sinasabi ng tao. You know, uh, first and foremost, don't don't do art for the money. Uh, baka sabihin nila, siguro, you can say that because uh, may, may pera ka namang konti and everything. Kasi kami, we just have to, don't be uh, a slave to making money. Because if you keep learning and you keep discovering and experimenting and you come up with something different and beautiful, the money will come after you. You don't have to chase money <laughs> because uh, sometimes the motivation of money is is very powerful that it overwhelms you and then you stop becoming an artist. <music>